All right, so I just wanted to make a quick video showing you how to make a song the master tempo. Oftentimes when you warp a track, it's going to slave to whatever tempo you have here in the master. And you want that. That's, that's a good thing. But there may be circumstances where you wish you could capture the groove of a song and it's changing tempos. Maybe you have a live drummer that you're playing along with and you want that drummer to be the master tempo of the, the whole song, but you don't want the whole song to be locked into one specific tempo. This is a great way that you can approach it. So this isn't going to work for DJs because obviously you need to have a master tempo. You don't want a changing tempo because then when you go from song to song, it's just going to use the original tempo of that song and switch things up. So this is more of a production thing. So when you drag a track here into the session window, you're going to notice that uh, it says warp, but there's no other window here underneath. All right. So I wanted to show you this distinction. So when we copy this and paste it over to this window, you now notice a difference here. So in the arrange window, it's automatically set as a slave to whatever the tempo up here is. All right. But if I hit master, after the song has been warped, now it will follow the original tempo of this song. And you'll notice over here that uh, the tempo will change as the song goes on. So as you see, this is changing here. And you can do this with full songs, or you can do it with, with an instrument, which I would recommend it being drums. Um, other instruments are going to be a real pain to, uh, to lock in as far as warping. But once the song is warped, then you could actually you could remix a song and still leave it at its original tempo with all the changes and everything. And all, all the things that you add will follow that tempo instead of just a rigid tempo. So that's kind of a cool thing. Another thing that you could do is if you're working on your own track but you wanted to have kind of this feel and, and uh, tempo feel of, of another song, you can just kind of put this in as, um, as a guide. And you can just turn off the audio. And now you've got a changing tempo. So when you write your track, it will have that that same feel. So anyway, that's a, a real quick thing for once your songs are warped, if you're warping live songs, you actually have the choice to go back and use the original tempo and still have the flexibility of writing your own drum patterns and melodies and bringing in loops and having everything follow that tempo. So another tip for you. All right, so one quick note that I wanted to add is that uh, what you may notice is that as Ableton is following the tempo, the tempo is only going to change uh, between each warp marker. So at the point of each warp marker, the tempo will change. So if you don't have that many warp markers, you're not going to have you're not going to have much variance in the tempo, or it's not going to be following every moment of the song. So what you'll want to do is either add more warp markers where it's important to you or you can use this technique of just um, quantizing your warping. So in this case I'm going to hit Command A after choosing a little warp marker. Control A if you've got a PC. Same difference. That'll grab all of these uh, warp markers and then you could right click and go to a, a quantize setting and I'm just going to quarter notes so it'll change every quarter note. Um, and there we go. So now we've got quarter note all the way across the board. And then when you play the song, it's going to uh, change every quarter note.
don't worry too much about uh, this changing. It's not, you know, from quarter note to quarter note, it's, it's really not going to be that noticeable, but it's going to add little shifts in the, in the groove and the feel. So uh, experiment with it. You know, you might find that you like half note better than quarter note or maybe just every bar having it change or whatever. But that's going to be how you can get more control over the tempo of the original track and get that into whatever you're working on.